you can learn to be different. And you're not going to find that out unless you truly evaluate yourself and ask yourself, am I doing the right thing or could I be doing better? On this channel, which as of this present moment of filming is still a baby channel, I don't have that many subscribers yet, but on this channel, I want to spread awareness about as many topics and categories as I can, right? Which is why I created the different categories of videos on this channel. So when you go to the playlist tab, it has all my individual categories <laughs> broken down into different subjects. I do podcast reviews, book reviews, I want to talk about other people's YouTube channels. I want to challenge myself and try different hobbies and tasks that would personally challenge me, whether I would kind of think it's fun, whether I think I'm going to love it or hate it. I hate cooking, but it's on the list to be done one day. And I love roller skating. So it, a variety because I want to target a variety of different people. Mental health isn't just all preparation of self-help books and meditation and look within. It's more than that. It's not just the deep stuff. It could also be like, like surface level stuff. Like reading a book every day for 15 minutes can make your whole world a different world. It can make you happy. Maybe going outside and painting on the porch, drinking your tea or your coffee is what you need for your mental health. Everybody is different and that's why I'm trying to categorize different types of subjects and topics. I want to bring awareness. So with that said, this topic will be a little bit different. Why is that like the third or fourth time I'm saying that? They're all going to be different. I need to stop saying that. <sighs> so with that being said, today's category will be kind of touchy, maybe for some people it could trigger them. And this is not just geared towards women, but majority of this will probably be geared towards women. And some men could have experienced this, but it just all depends. But I am reviewing the red table talk about unwanted sex and the gray area of things. It's the gray area between rape and consent. I saw this pop up as a suggested video because I love watching the red table talk. They bring awareness of all different types. And I, I'm, that's what I'm here for. That's how I want to serve the world. I want to be part of the group of people that spread awareness no matter what. For our mental health, we should be talking about things that need to be talked about. So let's get into it. I got a new product today. She fancy. <laughs> Funny thing is I can't tell if this is my shade in this lighting. I think it's kind of yellow. So if you have not, um, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, the Red Table Talk is with Jada and her daughter and her mom. And it's their opinions about different topics and they also bring guests on there. They bring awareness to stuff and I'm here for it. That's why I started this channel. And so they start the video off with basically talking about their ideas and maybe experiences between that gray area and if they've had non-consensual sex and it's kind of like well they didn't say no but they didn't say yes either it's one of those things and i feel like with young girls and there's obviously stuff in here about men too this can be a valuable lesson they go over stuff that they weren't taught and what could each side do? What can the men do and what can the women do? Especially when you're a kid and you're coming into 
teenager era into young adulthood, what you should be aware of, and what should we talk about for these young women and these young men to think about because there's a huge disconnect where women think, okay, we're not giving these big signals, but the men are like, oh, she's giving these big signals. She must want it. Or she must be on the same page as me. And that's not always the case. And they open up with how each generation, because there are three generations at the table, remember Jada, her daughter, and then her mom. So Jada's mom, Jada, her daughter. And each generation was kind of taught or shown something different when they received advice about sex. And her mom received something and then she was missing things. So when she raised Jada, she raised Jada the same way and Jada was missing things. And then when Jada grew up, started putting two and two together, she talks about how Willow, her daughter, she taught Willow stuff. Hey, I might have missed this, so now I'm going to show you. So it just kind of all depends. When parents try to prepare their children, and they try to have these talks with their children about sex, and everybody wants to mention you could get pregnant, you could get STDs, whatever the case, but nobody mentions the gray area of, well, I didn't say no, or I'm scared to speak up, or for whatever reasons, but you didn't say yes either. It's a, that's why she was calling it a gray area. And I, again, I love that they talked about this. It opens up the conversation to so much more about why sex can be so intimate. And I feel like that also, that definitely wasn't explained to me as a kid, you know? Um, my parents introduced sex to me at a young age and educated me about the educational parts about it, but nothing about the extra details, you know? Which is fine, you know? Everybody is different. Every parent is different, which is why we're talking about it. So that we can learn more and learn how to open up a conversation about a topic that can be uncomfortable for a lot of people. So after they talk about their experience, their viewpoints, their opinions, they then go in to talk about the subject of how parents talk to their kids and that women or girls, young ladies, are not, are not made aware of this gray area or even the situations that could potentially put you in a gray area. And if young ladies were more prepared with not only the situations or the potential situations of a gray area, but also self-esteem and confidence, because they talk about the reason they didn't say no is because maybe A, they felt guilty. Well, I already kind of led him on. We were doing this, that, and the third, so I might as well, right? Or B, maybe you're scared because what if you say no and you start being more aggressive about your no, then you're like, I don't wanna make him feel like he's fully taking advantage of me. So there's different emotions that play off of that. And if young ladies were confident, if they had a high self-esteem, they wouldn't care what the guy thought when they speak up and be more verbal about their feelings and emotions. So those values within yourself could definitely help. It could help out if she gets herself into a situation that she's scared to verbally speak up about. Again, I am not gonna go into all the details because I want you to go watch the actual video yourself and support. It is on Facebook and all you have to search is Red Table Talk. And on the male perspective, Young boys should be made aware, I don't want to say should, could, could be made aware that maybe picking up on nonverbal signs, like maybe body language, can really help out a situation and learn not to take advantage of a young lady or woman, because it's not just teenagers, it can be adults too. 
let me specify that part, is that you shouldn't prey on the fact that she's uncomfortable and won't verbally speak up. No. That's important. Yeah, and that men should be made aware. To be able to tell if a woman is uncomfortable, you can tell if she's pulling back, if she's tightening up, if she's not hanging all over you. Just, you can tell. And if we were teaching this at the right age, then growing up into young adulthood, it would be a habit for them to learn that and to respect women. Which then brings up the topic of why are parents not talking to their children about this? Maybe they're not aware that this comes to the forefront of their mind. Like it's obvious to talk about pregnancy and STDs and situations like that but it might not be so obvious to talk about the gray area especially if you haven't experienced it yourself so that's one option second one is is it too awkward if it's too awkward for you maybe give them the tools and the resources it is 2021 everything is online nowadays it's not that hard to find it themselves and then tell them if they have any questions they can come back to you so that at least they know and the third option which personally i'm not a fan of because i think it hinders everyone in the situation is parents who try to keep their kids innocent well thinking maybe if i don't talk about it then it won't become a problem it won't be an issue because we're not talking about it they don't know anything i promise you like I said, it is 2021 and everything is on the internet. They're looking into it. If you haven't talked to them, they're looking into it. So there could be many different reasons why a parent didn't go over that with their child. And again, generations contribute to that. You know, at one time, you couldn't even openly talk about sex and it was shamed upon each generation it evolves and people grow and we get more comfortable coming together and opening up about stuff because being a human all we want is connection we want to feel heard we want to feel seen we want to feel loved we want that genuine connection so we grow as time goes on which is a good thing that's what we should be doing which is why we should be having conversations like these. Another factor would be your upbringing. Were you raised around brothers? Was he a playboy? And he just talked about girls in a different way. Or did you have an overprotective brother that had to interview him, interview a guy every time he came around? It just all depends. There are so many variables to everybody and their situation and their anyways. Okay, where were we? So another factor, like I said earlier, is maybe like you misread a certain situation, which can happen. People communicate differently. People want different things. If a, if a young lady or if a woman says, hey, do you want to come into my place? That can mean a whole bunch of stuff to the female. But to the guy, he's automatically thinking he's in it. And that's not always the case. So it just depends. It could happen in a subtle situation where somebody misreads the other person, basically. And the show has three guests in total. And they also show a little interview series portion where women were asked about their, like their personal stories. And some of them it's just a variety of different situations that happened to these women, but the main result was that gray area. It was, it was an eye opener to hear all the different situations, you know? But the last guest, the third guest appearance they make is a man. His name is DeAndre Levy, Levy, Levy. Okay, I should put a screenshot right here you'll know who I'm talking about well some people will not everybody and 
he talks about the way he was raised and what his perspective on women were. And when he was raised, he was taught you have to be careful. You know, that women were painted in a negative light, that they will trap you, they will lie to you, they'll steal from you, they will want you just for your money, so you have to keep your guard up and be protective. Like, that's not good, who, like, what? And the crazy thing is, well, I shouldn't say crazy, to each its own, everybody's different, and whatever was passed down from generation to generation, men not might break that curse and then just keep teaching their kids the same thing. But the other half of that is he was taught that, that women were meant to be taken by men. And especially if you had already slept with her, she was already yours to be claimed. You know, it's kind of crazy, right? But this is why it's important to question yourself and question your actions because you can learn to break generational boundaries and curses like that. You can learn to be different and you're not going to find that out unless you truly evaluate yourself and ask yourself, am I doing the right thing or could I be doing better? And he really opens up about just his whole experience, how he was raised, and what he changed about himself to this day. So I thought that was amazing because Willow brought up a good point that if women, if it's all women talking about this subject, then men can kind of perceive it almost as, oh, she's being dramatic or this, that, and the third for whatever reason. But now that a man is coming forward and stepping up and talking about his own experiences and his take on it, it kind of validates the subject a little bit more to give more depth and a different insight to the topic. Because this is a, a really important topic. It should be, you know, again, as I said, it should be talked about. So they end it with a prevention measure and it's a checklist and you go over all the different things you would be willing to do or not do. And it gives you kind of a heads up and a different perspective and gets your mind ready. If I was in this type of situation, would I be willing to do that? Would I be willing to do this? And it opens up your mind a little bit more. So I thought that was a great idea. She does suggest doing this with a group of friends, but I think go over the paper by yourself. So it's just like, so it's just solely based on your decisions and your experience, because that is important. Nobody can do this but you, because it starts with you and how you feel and what you're comfortable with. But you know, later on, maybe you can revisit it and you can revisit it by yourself or you can revisit it with your group of friends, whatever you feel most comfortable with. So in the video, they included a hashtag called shake the shame and they tell women to post maybe their experience or their story. Or if you're not comfortable doing that, maybe post a selfie of you a beautiful picture where you feel the most confident and just put encouraging words down talk nicely to yourself don't forget to be kind and the whole point of this is to inspire others to bring awareness and talk about a subject that's not being talked about a lot because that's the whole goal we want to open conversation and spread awareness and you can post it on any platform. It could be Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you want. And if you look up that hashtag, there's already some stories on there already that are really inspiring. So I encourage you to check it out. So yeah, I guess that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this topic today. And I hope I'm contributing. I think that's where my passion comes from. I think that's why I'm so passionate about this. So again, the whole point of this is to open up the conversation and spread awareness. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye.
which is blah, 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 categories. Did, am I speaking English? We should bring awareness. I really need to look up cinnamons. Cinnamons. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I need to look up synonym. <laughs> Cinnamonym. Cinnamonym. Synonyms for awareness. <laughs> oh, let's just get into it. I literally can't get my life together. Is that what I just did with my mouth? <laughs> and that, oh, what did I last say? This is a mess. <sighs> we can scratch this whole thing. No, 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 it's got good valuable clips. We can't. It sucks when you film like for 10 minutes and you only like two minutes of it. It's okay. Whew. Okay. I hope this is making sense. When somebody says subject A, it could mean something totally different from what the person thought they were saying. No, that didn't make sense. Let me say it again. <laughs> It's gonna be a good day because we got a good brow. <laughs> oh, you ever feel like that? Scratch that whole thing. Like negative. They we were taught. <sighs> I need to get it together. This is not a long video. Why am I having such trouble? <sighs> this is gonna be a pain in the butt to edit. That's all I gotta say. But it's okay. This YouTube stuff is hard. <laughs> Boy, this line is coming through the window. I hope one of these work. 